everything's going up. This is why you'll benefit if you're holding property. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all well. So apologies, it's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded a video. I've been pretty busy finishing quite a few projects. I decided to start doing a video every other week as we go into the summer because the sun is shining and there is lots of fun to be had. But don't worry, I'll be changing it up as we go into the winter months again. So this is a really hot topic at the moment. Everyone knows about the cost of living crisis and it's another crisis for everyone to start climbing over themselves to try and save money and all the other hype behind it. But it is just another form of media hype. However, I recognise that things are going up, which costs me and you money. But if you're holding property, this is how you really put the negatives and the widespread press coverage to your advantage. Now, if you're like me, you're a big fan of social media, YouTube, watching videos and TikTok. And I keep seeing people, business owners, wannabe entrepreneurs, wannabe success stories talking about why you shouldn't buy properties and why you shouldn't buy your own home and why you should invest that money in either their training course, going on their mentorship package or starting a business. Now I was going to do two separate videos on this but I decided to amalgamate it into one because it's so relevant to the two topics at hand. Really simply, if you do not own your own home, there are more government incentives right now to enable you, anybody, to buy your own home. Everything from government-backed 95% mortgages, everything from LISA's lifetime saving accounts where you can put up to £4,000 in a year and the government will gift you another £1,000 and you can use that money either to buy stocks and shares or as a deposit for a property. So really, really simply, if you have a property for 100,000, the government will lend you 95,000. You can put 4,000 into a lifetime ISA, get your 1,000 pound bonus, and that is you almost there to buy in your property. Things like no stamp duty to first time buyers and other little incentives make it the absolute right time for everybody to be buying their own property. Okay, you're not going to be able to make money while you're living in it by renting it out, but there are things like rent and rooms out and you will have to pay rent anyway. So why not pay it towards a mortgage, not to pay down the debt, but to own the asset which will only go up in value. And there are multiple ways of earning money through property. Yes, you can rent it out. Yes, you can buy and sell it. Yes, you can hold it and it will go up in value. When you have a business, you will only make money through trading or selling a service. There is no value in it increasing with inflation, only if you put your prices up. Now, there is an argument to this, which I do recognize. Property will get you from zero to 10 million quite quickly, and you will probably be able to go from 10 to 100 million over a period of time. But it isn't a quick win, and it isn't an all size fits all. Now, with businesses, if you get it right, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, all of these types of guys who have gone from literally zero to hundreds of millions to hundreds of billions within a few years, it's because widespread, scalable business global domination businesses will turn millionaires, multi-millionaires, people worth hundreds of millions into billionaires if they get it right. But the reality is for every 100 people start on their business, 50% of them are going to fail within the first year. And the other 50% is very, very likely that they won't be scaling their business. We're talking about 1% of the 1% that ever achieved those goals. So if you are sitting on the fence and you do not know where to go and you listen to some of these complete muppets on TikTok, and don't get me wrong, I'm working with a team to start doing some more TikToks to call these complete morons out. You need to be using your resource, which if it's nothing and you have no money, you need to go and get a job, make yourself mortgageable and get on the housing ladder. Because when things start climbing and earnings will never, ever fall in line or keep up with as things go up, property is at the forefront. Now, I've always said this to people who are trying to save big deposits. You cannot save a deposit quicker than the property value is going up. So you are better off using a very, very high loan to value mortgage, a very small deposit and getting on the ladder because as the property value increases, it's increasing by like five to 10% depending on which year and which date you look at. 
Now on a hundred thousand pound property, taking something like 6% is six grand. That's like 500 pound a month. Who can save 500 pound a month? But let's say you buy a 200,000 pound property, all of a sudden six goes to 12, that's a thousand pound a month. How many people can save a thousand pound a month? And if you can, great, you can still save that money and the property is still going up in value. There's a famous saying, don't wait to buy property, buy property and wait. And this set of circumstances, the environment that we're in is one of the biggest reasons why you should be doing it. And that's one of the reasons why I've decided just to not sell anything. I think I've got one property on the market at the moment because it's probably my weakest performing property that I bought in 2015 for 120. It's on the market for 285. I don't particularly like it, don't particularly like the area, don't really like the amount of return I get for it for the amount of hassle, it's quite an old property. And that's it, I don't really wanna sell anything because my portfolio has massively gone up in value. And here are the numbers. So a mixture of my portfolio increasing in value due to the rise in house prices driven by things like inflation and a mixture of equity that I've added over the last 12 months has meant forget the amount of money I've earned from selling properties and forget the amount of money that I've earned from underwriting and rental income. Just literally sitting on the portfolio all the equity that I've created in my refurbishments has earned me completely tax-free because it sits as wealth on my balance sheet, just under £52,000 a week. That's an increase in my net worth of just under £2.7 million over the year. And when you hear a £52,000 a week, that's the sort of salary footballers earn or professional sports people. The guys in the NBA, they're on like $250,000 a week, mega money. But how many people can sit there watching this video and say that they are using inflation to their advantage? They are using their knowledge of the local market to increase and create equity. And to the tune, the measurable tune, it's earning them £52,000 a week or just under. Completely tax-free. And that, I don't say that to brag, I don't say that to look like a complete prick, even though some of you might be calling me that. It's to really hit home the message of why you should buy property and wait. Buy property and hold. Buy property. Don't fall for the BS on TikTok. Guys who are selling watches from their living room, kitchens or whatever it is, or trying to sell you mentorships. Buying property, getting on the ladder and being part of this problem for the right reasons is a great way to increase your net worth. And yes, if I ever sell those properties, if you ever sell yours, you will have some tax to pay. But you make your money when you sell and you only ever lose money when you sell. So that is my take on why inflation at the moment, even though it's costing me money, I've already signed up students for next academic year. You know, if you've been watching my videos, I did it before Christmas. I've fixed their prices in, including bills. And now it's costing me more because all of those bills have gone up. So it does hit you in the rental side. But the, the difference is marginal. The difference can be swallowed. Interest rates have gone up. It's costing me a bit more in interest. So what? I've got a massive stretch test. And... I have a huge tax bill based on rental income. So I'm not really that bothered because I measure my success and my wealth on the equity and the balance sheet that I create within my companies and personally. And it's all completely tax free. So if you ever wanted a really good example of why you should be buying property, hopefully this video has given you the reason behind it. But look, that's it from me. Hope you found the content rich and I'll catch you all in the next video.